For this tutorial, we're gonna do what's called a jump cut. And a jump cut is a, uh, it's a really popular technique that's used online. Um, probably the most common uh, jump cuts you'll see are from uh, the YouTube magician, uh, Zach King, and we'll watch some of those in class as well. Um, but in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, a jump cut that makes it look like somebody is kind of jumping through a wall, or in this case, a door. So let me just uh, bring open or uh, open up the video here. So we're going to use this jump through the door and I'll just drag it down onto a new composition here. So if we watch this video, what's happening is um, we have the student and we're kind of moving with the camera and then we go behind this door. He walks up, he jumps against the window. Now obviously he's not going to go through. Then he stops, comes around. And then he's gonna kind of think about that same angle, right? So he hit it over here with his right shoulder, right there. So then when he comes on the other side of the door, he's gonna line up the same way. And then however you wanna do it, you're gonna kind of, you know, maybe in this case, jump up and then push off the door like that. And so you can see what's gonna happen is we're gonna kind of split these together into a sudden cut or a jump cut to get the visual effect that he just flies right through the door. Um, now the other thing you'll notice is uh, that there's a combination of camera movement and static camera. So at the start here, where he's actually, uh, he says something like, hey, I'm gonna jump through this door. When we're filming this, it's handheld. Now we've actually got the camera on a tripod right now, but we're just lifting the tripod up. You'll notice that as the camera moves back, just before he jumps in, the camera is actually put down. In fact, if you look, you can see the tripod legs right there. So this is really important. Much like when we did multiplicity, you need to make sure that the camera is actually static when you do this jump cut, otherwise it's gonna look really weird. So right there, he jumps up, comes over here, jumps down, and we're just gonna jump that together. So very, very easy technique here. All we're gonna do is we're gonna go forward and right as he hits the window, right about there, we wanna stop it, okay? So once I get to the point where I wanna split this clip, there is a shortcut key where you can actually press Control, Shift, and D, uh, but the screen recorder I'm using right now doesn't allow me to do that. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I know that this is the point that I wanna cut it to. So I'm just going to duplicate my, uh, my layer here with Control, D, and I'll take this bottom layer and I will shorten it with the Alt and uh, Open Bracket, Open Square Bracket, to shorten it there. Then I'm gonna find the spot on this top clip where I want him to jump out. So maybe right about there. And I'm going to uh, trim it from the start. So I'll hold down Alt and the open square bracket. And now what I can do is just piece those together. And when I use my page up, page down, which advances me through, as he hits the window, he comes out on the other side. Now, obviously we can see that it's not perfect. In fact, we do have a little bit of a camera movement there. So the camera must have been touched while this was happening. But when it happens quickly, you're probably not gonna notice. Now you may have to fine tune it a little bit. We could always back this off a little bit. Maybe that's gonna give a better effect. Nope, we need it right at the peak of the jump, maybe right there. It's not bad. Now One. We play it. It's just There's a door. Get doors. Hold on. He almost is on there too long when he jumps up like that. I kind of, because he starts falling down a little bit. So I'm going to back that off. The goal here is you're going to watch it a couple times and just make it as seamless as you can. So we'll find that right there. That's not too bad goes through and jumps like that. Now we can do some really neat things. And, and again, if you watch some Zach King uh, YouTube clips, he'll do things where he changes his clothes, where something appears, where it wasn't before. You do all sorts of neat things with the jump cut. There's lots of ideas online. Now, 
The one thing that uh, you might say is, well, you kind of lose that illusion that it's a moving camera because it stops moving at this point, right? Because I told you the tripod comes down. Well, there is a way you can get around that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these two clips and I'm gonna convert them into one. And that's a technique known as pre-composing. So I'm gonna pre-compose this and I'll just call it the finished jump cut. And I will just click OK. So here it is. Now it's one, one clip. Right? And if I ever need to get back to it, I can just double click it and there they are. But I'll go through this here as one clip. I'm gonna note it, or I notice that at this point here, the camera stops moving. So right about there, I might even hit a hit a star, just put a marker on that. And then for the rest of the clip, it doesn't move either. So we're gonna use something that uh, YouTube magicians use all the time, and it's to simulate camera movement. Because when a camera's moving, it actually looks like it's, it's much harder to do. It kind of makes the magic that much better, or the visual effect that much better. But it's way easier to do the effect when it's on a tripod. So we've put the camera down on the tripod, and now we want it to move. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go over to our effects panel, right here. If you can't find it, go up to Window, Effects and Presets, and we're gonna do a search for Wiggle. Now, there's a few different Wiggles here. Um, we are going to do the Wiggle Position, and I'm gonna take the Wiggle Position, I will drag it onto the clip. I can drag it here, I can drag it here. And what the Wiggle does, there's a few options here. You can see uh, up here, don't worry about the transform ones, but under Wiggle Position, you've got the Wiggle Speed, which is Wiggles per second, and the amount that it wiggles, which is 500. So the way that it's set right now, when I hit play, you can see that it is moving around. It's doing about one movement of up to five, or sorry, up to 50 pixels. I think I said 500. Um, every second it does this. Well, I'm going to make this maybe, let's try 70, but I want more than one a second. I'm gonna try like maybe 10 a second, just see what that does. So that's pretty sporadic. That looks like, you know, you're, you're shaking with the camera. So let's tone that down a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll go back to six and we'll do a wiggle amount of uh, maybe 40. Let's see how that looks. not too bad, maybe a little sporadic. I might take that down to four even. Okay, now the other problem of course is that as it's wiggling around, the frame is going in and out of the actual composition, which is why you see the transparency up there. So little trick for that, very easy. Go to your, uh, your finished product over here, go to effects and go to, under transform, just scale it up just a little bit. So we're just cheating a bit, so now you can't actually see when we play this. There we go. So the camera looks like it's kind of moving. You just want to make sure that you never see any of those little white layers because that's going to really lose the illusion. Um, now the only other problem I guess is before this point we weren't actually using the tripod at all. There's, you know, we were holding it freely so we don't really need a wiggle on at that point. So what I would do is I would actually animate the wiggle so we'll hit the little keyframes there. So now we're animating the wiggles and as soon as we get to this point, the wiggle speed is four and the wiggle amount is 40. And then I'm just gonna back it up one frame and I'm gonna set this down to zero and zero. So now what happens is I just get my natural movement. There's no artificial wiggle. Then as soon as I put the tripod down at this point, I keep a uh, the, uh, the actual wiggle position takes over, and my finished result is gonna look something. One. There's a door. That doors. Hold on. Now, if you saw there, right at the end, there was just the quickest little flash. There it is, right there. That's no good. So again, the way to get around that is you do have to go to your scale. Maybe instead of 107, I'll take it up to 109. Still see it a little bit. It looks like I'm going to go 110. There we go. One. And then one final. There's a door. Preview here. Deck doors. Hold on. Perfect. You could add a sound effect when he goes through, kind of sell it a little bit more. You could add a flash of light if you wanted. There's lots of neat things.